friends, brothers and sisters in Christ. In today's liturgy, we get inspiration from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 9, verses 41 to 50. And the Lord invites us to examine ourselves, look into ourselves, and cut off and remove anything that causes us to sin. That And what is sin? Anything that causes us and cuts us away from God and cuts away from ourselves and from others. The key word we shall hear often in today's readings is the word scandal, being a stumbling block, one who blocks others from progressing, from reaching God, from reaching the kingdom of God's love, from God's oh, kingdom of God's peace, God's serenity, God's goodness. Anyone who blocks others from living the life that God wants us to live well, anyone who blocks others from experience that peace, meaning anyone who creates wars with words and with action is a stumbling block. My brother, my sister, am I a stumbling block, one who blocks others from experiencing the true good life and the true good peace and love and serenity that God wants for us, his children? Or oh, am one of those who live by good example with my good actions, my words and actions that are encouraging, that are uplifting, that are beautiful, a scandalized, a scandalous person is one who breaks others down, who pulls down others, one who destroys others, one who prevents others from reaching God, from reaching ourselves, and from reaching others. Am I? Which kind of person am I? The Lord tells us to be careful being a bad example, scandalous, blocking the way, be like a bridge where others can reach and cross over to the other side with their challenges. That's what we are called to be, dear friends. Not like a big wall. We are not called to be like a big wall where others cannot even climb and cross over to the other side. The Lord wants us to help each other together, to move together in the family, in the communities, wherever we are, to help each other to be that bridge, that to make life easier for others, to help each other in accompanying each other, even in the challenges of life, so that others do not fall into anything that is dangerous for them and for others. And the Lord wants us to be true disciples who journey from within. We journey from within our spirit. We journey from within the good things in us that we have received from the word of God and from other good people. And this journey, this energy from inside is that which now pushes us outside to move out and spread the good news. We would ask ourselves, what is hindering us from entering the kingdom of heaven? Is it the places that we frequent that are not good for us? Cut them off. Are they the people who are negative and always very polemic and they look at everything in a pessimistic way, like a toxic people? Cut them off at the same time, though it's good to help them. But for the time being, keep them away before they contaminate you with all the mud of negativity. If we need to help each other. We need to help such people. But if you realize for the moment you're not in position, cut them off. Are they the habits? The habits, my way of living, that my way of speaking is so horrible and bad. My words are, instead of healing, they are killing others. Cut the words off. Cut on the tongues. And cut the words off and stop it. And cut off all those negative words that hurt others even more. Are they my way of living that just by looking at me, people, because of my bad way of living, I'm not giving a good example and instead I'm a scandalous person with my way of living. I'm not living as a Christian. I'm not living as a human person. I'm not living like a person who has a heart who should feel who should feel with those who are suffering and accompanying each other, but someone who is insensitive to others' needs. How am I living my life? How are my words? Are they healing if they are not, then I'm scandalizing, scandalizing others. And I should cut off every habit that is that is blocking me from enjoying life with others in a good way. I should cut off every 
kind of situation, place that is blocking me from reaching God and blocking me from reaching others and blocking me from reaching myself because the Lord wants us happy. And when we cut off ourselves like this, these negative things, then we begin to breathe. Then we have a new life. Then we are able to even bear more fruit, just like they were pruning takes place in the garden. You know, I like garden work, no? To prune, you need to cut off some things in order to get good fruits. So what is in my life that I need to cut off? It's not about literally cutting off my hands and plucking out the eye. Otherwise, we will even create more problems. The Lord is using this image in a metaphoric way, not in a direct way. So he's saying any action that lead that that is not good for me and for others, cut it off. Any word that is not good for me and for others, cut it off before it is too late. Let us not waste time. Let us not waste the gift of time we have received. Let's use well every gift to build others. And the time to do good is here and now. And the more we cut off everything that is negative, pessimistic, bad, the more we can begin at breathing and enjoying real life from within and that life can be expressed outside so let our words and our actions not frustrate not depress not frustrate not destroy other people may they be words that build may they be actions that uplift others and helping them to live in the image and likeness of god with the high dignity with all the basic necessities of life to see how we use our hands to help others to be good and to do good how we use our legs to help us to take our legs take us help us to move to do good news to do to be good to others not our legs taking us to go and destroy others how we use our mouth our eyes and every part of our lives to go and do good rather than to go and destroy others my brother, my sister, whatever we are, as husband and wife, as parents, as children, as friends, let us be a good example to others, an inspiring example to us, a positive experience, example to others, an example that helps others, even in the difficult moments, to uplift them and say, it's okay, it's okay. Even when we are all going through difficulties and all of us are struggling, that we are there to say, it's okay, let's fight it together not alone. We are here to support each other in the joys and challenges. Let's be there for each other in good times and bad times. That's what life is about. That's what love is about. That's what Christian living is about. Dear friends, let us not lose the salt of goodness in us. And what does salt do? It preserves. Let us not lose that preserving dimension where we preserve ourselves and preserve and protect others. The salt heals. Let us not lose that healing dimension that each one of us is called to heal others. The, the salt gives taste. Let us not lose that taste of life that we are invited to give taste to other people's lives too. That not only to taste it ourselves, but also to give good taste to others, especially those who find the life bitter. We are invited to give taste, to be sweet, to be sweet, to be nice, to be kind, to be gentle, to be there for everyone, every moment, especially those who are struggling in life. We are all humans. We struggle in each way, each one of us in our own way, some small, some big struggles, whatever it is, we are there to support each other with sweetness, that even when life is bitter, we come in to be sweet to others and to uplift and say yes everything will be okay in Jesus' name dear friends let us avoid the occasions that lead us into sin if i'm in a particular place and I'm, i fall my find myself falling into sin i avoid and i cut off all those occasions or if i'm in a particular time and i feel that he's already cutting my relationship with god and with my brother and with my sister i cut it off so let's avoid all the occasions that lead us into sin and let us use well our time and our gifts and our talents as we hear in today's first reading where we hear that uh, to be gifted with riches, material riches, spiritual riches, is a great blessing from the Lord, especially if these riches are got in a good way and shared in a good way with all generously. It's a blessing to have the riches, material, spiritual, intellectual, whatever form of riches. Of course, we all have the desire to live well, a successful life, a prosperous life, a happy lifestyle. We all want to have a comfortable life, life without stress, without challenges, without problems, life with good people around us, life with a good job, with a good work, with good payment. We all desire all that. In short, there is nothing wrong with being well off because that's all a blessing received freely from God and that should be shared freely with others. 
our first reading is warning those rich and so-called powerful people who exploit the poor, those who are fragile, those who are weak, those who are defenseless in the society. Those who are simple, fragile, taking advantage of these poor people. Especially the rich who use the poor to accumulate wealth and they also enrich themselves. That is greed. Using words and actions to deceive others in any way in order to accumulate money and wealth is by itself very evil and bad and we will have to pay for our bad actions just as we will have also to be rewarded by our good actions. Dear friends, let us use our money, our wealth, our gifts, our talents well in order to build the people, to help people. Don't use the money, wealth, and to in order to accumulate things that distance us from God, from ourselves, and from others. In other words, don't use the people in order to gain money, in order to gain power, fame, and glory, in order to take advantage of people. Don't use people in order to gain money and wealth. We are invited to live simply, to multiply our blessings by sharing our gifts, our talents, our wealth, our riches, however small or big they are, so that they can multiply and do good to many other people. And that goodness will return to us, if not in this world, in the world to come. And as we do this, we are invited to trust in the Lord. We are not invited to trust in the bank account, bank account that we shall live here even on earth, all accumulated and all will be there, thrown off, I don't know where. We have to accumulate and save and put in the account of people's hearts, people's lives, with whatever blessings we have received. We share these blessings and put it in the lives of the people, especially those who are poor, marginalized, those who are struggling in life that's the safe account where we can save our riches in the hearts of the people in the lives of the people making the lives of the people beautiful good and well living worth living trust in the lord who is the author and giver of everything dear friends there are people who are so rich and they think that money can buy anything during the corona times people uh, people realize that even the money cannot even do anything. Even the rich were dying off like flies. Even their money they had couldn't do anything. So this shows that we have to put our trust in God, not in riches, not in in money. And to use well the blessings we have received, the freely we have received, the freely we have to share with others to uplift everyone here and there. And we don't have need to have everything in order to to share sometimes it's the little that we have that we share and that little may be everything for the people that we encounter in our journey of life sometimes money makes people greedy closed in themselves selfish and not reaching out to others especially to the poor they exclude others because people are rich because people are powerful and yet humanity teaches us that we are brothers and sisters we have to support each other and to be there for each other if misused, money can destroy relationship. It can even break marriages. We consider things first instead of considering people. No, let's consider people first. Let's give priority to husband and wife and family and friends and people before we even think of anything. All the other things are there to help us improve our relationship as husband and wife, as parents, as children, as people. Let us pray, dear friends, that God may help us to use everything that we have received in order to reach Him and to reach, to reach Him who is God and to reach others and to reach ourselves. And let us be pray that the Lord may help us also not to be a scandal whereby people can find it difficult to reach God and to reach others and to reach themselves, but to be means like bridges through which others can experience and enjoy the presence of God as a father and so that others can experience and enjoy the presence of each other other and that so that people can enjoy being fully human fully divine that gift of the image and likeness of god which god created us blessings from jerusalem dear friends as we give being good examples for others working and cutting off everything that blocks us from reaching god from reaching others and from ourselves amen